so you want to know where to stay in downtown Asheville. I know you're here because you've been watching all these great videos about Asheville, North Carolina, and you've heard so many great things. It's the perfect spot for sunrise and sunset chasers. People who love to visit unique destinations and history buffs. It's perfect for nature lovers and hikers. And there's over 250 waterfalls nearby to explore too. And don't even get me started on the restaurants. There's a variety of locally owned and sourced restaurants. And you just never know who you're gonna run into in Asheville. Downtown Asheville is a trendy city with unique boutiques and shops with locally sourced and handmade goods. You're ready to go, now you just need to know where to stay. I have a suggestion for you, but first let me introduce myself. I'm Christy Evers, owner of Happily Evers After Vacations, your retreat, vacation, and conference specialist. And if you love to learn about travel destinations, get travel tips, deals, and reviews, then this channel is for you. Click that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so you know when I post more amazing content just like this. Today, I'm going to tell you all about Hotel Indigo, located right in downtown Asheville and close to many of downtown's feature attractions. It is literally just a few minutes walk down the street to the Basilica of St. Lawrence and only just a few steps more to get you to the Thomas Wolfe Auditorium. And if the Biltmore Estates is on your list of things to do, which I really hope it is because it is super awesome, it's only about a five to seven minute drive away. The Grove Park Arcade Shopping Mall is a short walking distance as well. Not to mention the River Arts District and downtown's array of unique boutiques, shops, activities. There's really something for everyone. Let's head on back to Hotel Indigo and take a peek at the room. One of the Hotel Indigo's safety features that I really like is that they require a key card to enter the building or a front desk associate needs to open the doors for you. It's time for a tour of the King Room. I'll give you a quick room tour here. Here is, this is really cool. They have like a chain link curtain here. And a very fancy wall. Nice little seating area. We got a King Room. do have some decent outlets for people and they do have a full ironing board it's weird because they have a cloth thing but it's kind of cool too and the bathroom like has a humongous shower absolutely huge very big very big shower I can't even go in the shower and you can still get a better, good idea of what the shower looks like. Very nice shower. So, yeah. Very nice. All right, Ella, it's time to test the bed. Tell me what you think. Okay. I shall clear the room. Well, not the room, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, these pillows are glorious. <laughs> All right, good. I like a good pillow. Awesome. <laughs> and if you're an electronics junkie like I am, you'll be happy to see they have plenty of places to plug in your electronics. At Hotel Indigo, one side of the hotel faces the mountain view, but also overlooks the highway. The other side faces the city view. All two queen rooms are on the mountain view side, which means there's a higher possibility of hearing noise from the freeway. They do offer noise machines in all of the rooms with the two queen beds to drown out the traffic noise if it bothers you. Yeah, it's, it's, but all of our two queens are on this side, on the highway side. I mean, we have noise machines in these rooms. Oh, you do? Okay. And all of the clocks are Bluetooth, so you can also connect your phone to it okay. and have your own. That's smart. Smart noise. That's and all the king beds are on the city that side. That is a nice view. One cool feature this hotel has that you don't see very often is this area of refuge. Ah. It's located over by the ice machine and it's a place where you can fill up with purified water, either hot or cold water. Nice. So each 
room comes with a little carafe. So I'm gonna come over to the station and pick, oh, you can pick hot water too. So I'm going to pick the Coke. Oops, comes out. So here. Water. Hotel Indigo is also great for small gatherings for up to 38 people during normal times, less during COVID restrictions. It doesn't matter if you're having a small party or gathering, celebrating a wedding or a honeymoon, or even if you just need a small meeting space, Hotel Indigo is a great place to gather. And let's hear it for our pet lovers. They have packages for you and your fur baby that includes a treat bag, a pet bed, and a food bowl. Check with the hotel or your travel agent for details and be sure to book in advance. Let's talk about the steps Hotel Indigo is taking during this pandemic to keep their guests and employees safe. As far as COVID safety goes, Hotel Indigo complies with IHG's enhanced cleanliness standards, such as reduced contact at check-in, paperless checkout, touchless transactions, sanitizing stations, additional cleaning of public spaces and enhanced room cleaning and laundry cleaning protocols too. Check out their website for more details. Alright, so one thing and to now know, let's talk about the parking at Hotel Indigo. When I came Indigo. into park, I saw the sign here. $10 parking per night, but I totally missed the ramp. The ramp is right there, and it's easy to miss because it looks like it's just part of that little parking structure. The parking lot is accessed with your key card, and there are two levels, one underground and one above. So what do you think? Are you ready to book your trip at the Hotel Indigo? Let me know in the comments. But no matter what you do, where you go, just get out there and do something and try something new. Go places. Because remember, life is short, so make it a grand adventure. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.